Hey, me again. Uh, I thought I'd share with you something that's brand new, uh, not actually out as yet. I'm on the testing um, panel for the new DOE staff portal running on Android. So I have uh, my little Android phone here and I can uh, jump through all the different apps and I'd like to show you what uh, the staff portal app for Android looks like. It's not finished yet, uh, there's still a few little glitches but it's worth taking a little look at. So let's launch it. Uh, what it does is um, ask you for your sign on but because I've signed into it before it actually allows me to uh, sign in with my biometrics so using the fingerprint scanner uh, I can simply touch that as long as I've set that up in the first place obviously and it will uh, log me straight into the portal so no more username and password uh, which makes things a whole lot easier first thing it does is launches uh, the notification so across the bottom uh, we'll, go, we'll be going through each of these items to show you what it's all about but across the bottom there um, the first one is notifications and um, it'll show you different push notifications for things that uh, that happen uh, you might be responsible for approving certain things in SAP or uh, in other tools uh, it'll put notifications up on your device so that you know to go and do those and and you can action them but here what it's doing is every week school biz comes out and uh, it's telling me the latest version at the top here is uh, week 9 week 8 week 7 week 6 and I can if I've read this one I can remove it um, quite easily and I can jump in and have a look at that um, school biz article I can go and read the critical readings and so on uh, information for parents and caregivers not sure what it's doing it's looking perfect on my screen here but for some reason my um, connect is playing up ah there you go um, so that's um, getting information regularly as news comes out you can uh, find out what's going on in the department uh, and so on. So that's school We'll have a little look at that as we get more um, across the, the different options at the bottom. The second option that we see down here is My Essentials. So everyone's used to My Essentials uh, that they have on their portal. Well now they're brought into your phone as an app so you're no longer accessing the staff portal via uh, the browser on your phone. You can use this uh, dedicated app which makes things a whole lot better so if I needed to go into Edby for example um, it will take me straight into Edby and I can say oh, I need a new Apple something or other so you can click on Apple I can go into the Edby catalog for Apple and I can say oh yeah I need a caching server or I need an Apple pencil or whatever it might be um, let's have a look at the Apple pencil and here it is here and I can read all about it and I can see how much it costs and so on so that's um, that's Edby. There's an exit button at the top. Just hit that to go back to the main screen. Of course, you can uh, choose to go to portrait mode or landscape mode simply by turning your screen around, um, your device around, I should say. Um, so that's my essentials. Uh, very handy to be able to have access to uh, all of those things while you're on the go. Um, if you ever need to look somebody up in the department, um, you can go to the staff directory, hit the search, type in their first name or their last name uh, in here, and it will give you, let's just look me up, and search. So there's a whole bunch of people, and here's me here. And uh, I could use the phone numbers there and just dial myself if I want to, uh, simply by hitting the button, and it will dial straight from um, the app, which is nice. So that's, um, that's the staff directory. The school biz uh, lets you have a look at the latest. So at the top here it says latest, or you can go into the archive. So if you missed any, you can go back to 2020 term two, week five, and it'll go dig that out of the archive. Uh, it takes a little while just to go and find it and prepare it all for you. But very shortly it's going to display that particular issue and I can go in and read the critical readings of that one at that point in time. So that's um, that school biz, very nice and, and easy to be, to be able to have that. Oh, but the other thing that uh, I didn't show you is, okay, here's an article that was about YouTube access in schools. Uh, so you can read all about what that's all about. Um, but if that was an important article and I needed to keep it, that little flag up the top there, 
it's a bookmark icon. Uh, I can tap on that and it tells me that the article is saved. Oh, that's pretty cool. So where is it saved? So you can jump back to the main Schoolbiz area where you've got latest archives and saved. So if I tap on saved, there's that article. So I've got it accessible for whenever I need it. And if I no longer need it, um, it's very easy for me to simply swipe and I can either share it with somebody else or I can delete that item from the list. That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's Schoolbiz. And finally in settings, uh, this is where you can do things like updating your profile, changing your DOE password. You can turn on the Face ID and Touch ID stuff. You can change to dark mode, uh, which is nice. I actually prefer things in dark mode, so that's a, a nice setting. You can get the information about, out, about help. You can get uh, information for feedback, uh, so send um, your suggestions for how you can improve this app. And there's also a Contact Us information screen there. So that is... Um, the Staff Portal app on Android. It works not only on Android phones, but on Android tablets as well. I believe the prerequisite is Android 9 or later. So um, some of those older devices may not work, but um, for anyone with an Android, a fairly recent Android device, you're going to be able to get the Staff Portal on there. For anyone else who has iPhones or iPads, right now in the App Store you'll be able to get the DOE Staff Portal. So if you just look up DOE Staff Portal on uh, the App Store, you'll be able to find that and download and install that for yourself. Hope that was of use. First look at the Android app. See ya.